Hi, hello. This is Chandrakan, and uh, today we can discuss one eight standard CBSE eight standard one chapter. So before going to think that chapter name, we can discuss some basic concept of mathematics, means number system. So number system. So now uh, natural numbers. Natural numbers means what? So yes, that is a natural numbers means the numbers start from one, two, three, four. Five. So that is one, two, three, four, five. So like these numbers, this group of numbers are called it as what? Natural numbers. And so already we know that the numbers start from one, two, three, four, five. These are the group of natural numbers. And the group of numbers start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, so numbers start from 0. So, that is called as whole number. So, the group of whole numbers. And the start from 1, that is a natural number. And start from 0, that is a whole number. If the numbers are, belongs to negative number. So, negative. So, that is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, etc. So, these are the group of integers. Yes, these are the group of integers. And next, I am going to write one a different number. So, that is 1 upon 3. Yes, 1 upon 3, 5 upon 4, and 6 upon 7, etc. So, these are the numbers of? Yes, obviously these are the fractions. Yes, so these are the fractions. But in the group of the numbers, we can give the name as rational number. Yes. So like this in the form of the number as 1 upon 3, 5 upon 4, 6 upon 7. These are the examples. So like this group of numbers are called as rational numbers. So now, today we can discuss rational number chapter, first chapter. So introduction of rational numbers. Rational numbers. So now already we know the some examples of rational number. So that is 1 upon 2 and 3 upon 5, so etc. So generally we can give this one as P upon Q. So number is in the form of P upon Q and in the fraction. So P is known as numerator and Q is known as what? Denominator. Yes. So, P is a numerator and Q is a denominator. So, the number is in the form of P upon Q and P and Q are integers. P and Q are integers and one more condition is there. Q is not equal to 0. So, number is in the form of P upon Q and P and Q are a integer and Q is not equal to 0. So, one question is arisen. So, what is that? Why Q is not equal to 0? If Q is equal to 0, then what the value? Just think here, 3 upon 0. So, already we know that 0 upon 3. So, what is the value of 0 upon 3? S. Any number, 0 divided by any number is 0. And any number divided by 0 is what? Not defined. There is no value for that. So that's why Q is not equal to 0. So now what we discuss, what it mean by rational number. Definition we discuss. So that is, the number is in the form of P upon Q. And P and Q are integers. And Q is not equal to 0. So this is the actual definition. So now what we discussed, one is definition. So definition we discussed. And next, some properties. We can discuss properties. So properties means what? So which are the uh, here properties? Already we learned some properties on 
whole number chapter and natural number chapter in 7th and 6th standard. So, which are those properties? Properties are closure property, commutative property, associative property, distributive property. These are the four main basic properties are there. Apart from these properties, some more two concepts are there. That is identity and inverse. So now, same properties we can apply here on rational number also. So first one is that closure property. So closure property. So what it mean by closure property? Clo closure property means you can take any two numbers from rational number. And these closure property we can apply addition multiplication, subtraction and division also. So one by one we can check is it closed or not. It belongs to or not. It's right or not. So first one here in the closure property first we can discuss that is a addition. Addition is closed under that closure property or not. First one example 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5. What you will get? 1 by 5 plus 2 upon 5. So, how to add the fraction? We know that these are the like fraction. If these are the unlike fraction, then we can make it uh, convert it as a like fraction. Then add the numerator. Understood now? So, these are the like fraction. Like fraction is what? If the denominator are same, then those are called as like fraction. So, now here this is a 5, 1 plus 2. So, 1 plus 2 is 3 upon 5. Yes, 3 upon 5 is also a rational number. Yes, it's a close addition also. And next one is that subtraction. So, subtraction. One uh, here, 2 upon, say, uh, 2 upon 7 minus 1 upon 7. Just check it. So, these are also a like fraction. 7, 2 minus 1 is what? 1 upon 7. 1 upon 7 is rational number or not? Yes. Obviously, this is also a rational number. So, subtraction is also closed. Means, it also belongs. It's also right. And next one is that multiplication. So, multiplication 3 upon 5 multiplied by 2 upon 7. So, how to multiply? Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Yes. 3 into 2 and 5 into 7. 3 into 2 is... 6, 5 into 7 is 35. 6 upon 5 is also a rational number. Yes, 6 upon 35 is also a rational number. So, multiplication is also closed. So, multiplication is also closed means it's also right. Last one is that division. So, division. So, just think here. If 3 upon 5 divided by 1 upon 5. So, 3 upon 5 1 upon uh, divided by 1 upon 5 is there. If the value, you will get it as, here the value will get it. 3 upon 5, reciprocal to it, 5 upon 1. So, 5, 5 get cancelled. 3 upon 1 you will get. This is a right. But if, so what I told, rational number 0 is also a rational number. Yes, now 0 divided by anything is 0 you will get. Example, 0 divided by 3, uh, so what you will get? 0 you will get. So, this is a rational number. What it, uh, so what definition say? So, definition says that P upon Q. Here, Q is not equal to 0, but P may be equal to 0. Yes, so Q is not equal to 0, but 0 upon 3 is also a rational number. If I took as a 3 upon pi divided by 0 upon 3. Then what you will get? 3 upon 5 divided by 3 upon 5 divided by 0. 3 upon 5 divided by 0. What you will get? Not defined. It's not possible. So that's why division is not right. It's not closed in a what rational numbers. In closure property, division is not closed in a rational numbers. Rational number group. These are the four basic operations on closure property. So, first one, addition. Addition is closed. Subtraction is also closed and multiplication is also closed. But division is not closed in a rational number. Yes? 
So this is the first one is the closure property. Now come to the commutative property. So second one is that commutative property. Here also addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. One by one we can discuss. So first one is that addition. So addition, addition here, very simple. Already we know that commutative property means A plus B is equal to the B plus A. This is a LHS and this is RHS. A plus B is equal to the B plus A. That is a commutative property. When if you took two numbers from a rational number and when you are doing interchange, so that time also the same LHS and RHS are equal. Then we can say that this is a commutative under addition. Rational numbers are commutative under addition. So first we can discuss. First of all, so one example I will take 1 upon 5 plus 2 upon 5. So 1 upon 5 plus 2 upon 5 how much you will get? So that is a 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5. LHS equal to RHS or not? Just we can check it here. Here this is a 5. So like fraction 1 plus 2 and equal to 5, 2 plus 1, so that is 3 upon 5, equal to 3 upon 5, yes, LHS equal to RHS, so now, in a commutative rational number, rational numbers, commutative property is closed in addition, so addition is also right in commutative property, now, next one is that, subtraction, so subtraction, we can check now here, Subtraction is also same here. A minus B is equal to the B minus A. A minus B if you are doing then is equal to the B minus A. When you are interchanging the number both the LHS and RHS should be equal. LHS means left hand side. RHS means right hand side. So now I will take one example that is 3 upon 5 minus 1 upon 5. And here, this is a LHS. So, 3 upon 5 minus 1 upon 5. 3 minus 1 divided by 5 is 2 upon 5. So, 2 upon 5, I got the answer. And RHS. So, RHS is B minus A. So, B, what is there here? 1 upon 5. 1 upon 5 minus 3 upon 5. Here, this is a 5. 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 value is how much? As minus 2. So, how we got the minus 2 here? Plus minus minus is 3 minus 1 is 2. The number sign is minus. Minus 2 upon 5. So, are they equal? This is plus 2 upon 5. This is minus 2 upon 5. These are not equal at all. This is a positive. This is a negative. So, it's not a closed. In a commutative property, subtraction is not closed. It's not right at all. Next one is that. Here, multiplication. So, next one is that multiplication. We can take one example that is A multiplied by B is equal to the B multiplied by A. Are they LHS and RHS are equal? Just we can check here. I will take one example 1 by 5 multiplied by 2 upon 7 equal to 2 upon 7 multiplied by 1 by 5. LHS. So, this is LHS. 1 upon 5 multiplied by 2 upon 7. 1 1 za. So, uh, so, so here 1 2 za. 2 divided by 5 7 za. 35. 2 upon 35. And RHS. RHS is 2 upon 7 multiplied by 1 upon 5. 2 1 za 2. 7 5 za. 35. Yes. 2 upon 35 and 2 upon 35. LHS equal to RHS, it's proved, it's right, closed in a multiplication. So, this is also, multiplication is also right. And last one is that division. So, division is also, as it is here, this is a A divided by B is equal to the B divided by A. Are they equal? Then only it's a closed division. So, now I will take one example that is 2 upon 5 divided by, already we know that uh, closure property, 2 upon 5 is divided by, 
0 upon 1. So what you will get? It's not a closed also. So answer will not get same here. So now here I will take another example only. 2 upon pi, 2 upon pi and pi upon here. 2 upon pi divided by pi upon 2 and pi upon 3. And here this is a pi upon 3 divided by 2 upon 5. So are they equal or not? Just we can check it here. This is a LHS. LHS is that 2 upon pi divided by pi upon 3. So this is a do the reciprocal 2 upon pi multiplied by 3 upon pi. This is 6 upon 25. So 6 upon 25 and next take the RHS. So RHS is pi upon 3 divided by 2 upon pi. Do the reciprocal pi upon 3 multiplied by pi upon 2, 25 by 6. So 6 by 25 and uh, uh, 25 upon 6, the uh, value will get same. No, these are not equal at all. It's not possible. So that's why division is not closed in commutative property. So two properties we learn here. One is closure property. Another one is commutative property. These are the two properties and further properties we may discuss on next.